What is up, YouTube? How's everyone doing on this fine day? Hope everyone's doing great. Welcome to Cold Blood Fiends. My name is Sebastian. Let's get to the show. So you guys might have noticed, Soba's enclosure is behind me on the rack. Where did Sasori go? Sasori's next to the bioactive. I'll show you him in a second. He's doing good. But today, we're doing something a little bit different. A lot of bit different than what I usually do. But before we get into that, I want to show you guys some new things I got. So I got this Alternantheria Yellow. This thing is super cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Might go in Sasori's enclosure. Might just repot it into this pot and put it into one of the other animals. Not make them bioactive or anything like that, but yeah, just maybe might give it to one of them. Don't know. Might put it in the bioactive. Who knows? I got this Plectran Plectranthus Lemon and Lime. This thing is kind of cool looking. The pet store was dwindling on plants. It's pretty ridiculous. And then I got this Albuca Longipes. They just call it a bulb. I got this for the bioactive. I have that one corner that still doesn't have any kind of plant in it. So I got this. I figured this might look nice up there. You know, it's not a visually stunning piece. So it's something that it's just up in the corner. If you notice it, you notice it. If you don't, nobody's going to care. But it's also a South African bulb. So these snakes are from the Sub-Sahara. So yeah, got this cool little guy. It's, it's just gonna sit up in the corner. Like it's gonna be barely noticeable. I think it'll get pretty big though. So that's pretty cool. But all in all, I just want something simple for that part of the enclosure. And I think this will do. I think this will do real nice. So that being said, yep, Suba is down there now. Basically what's gonna happen is once this bioactive is finished setting up, it might take three months, it might take a month, it might take a year, I don't know. I'm just gonna let everything grow in, see what dies off, replant some stuff, blah, 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 etc. Put Tengo into it eventually. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I think what I'm gonna do with the, that 20 gallon is I'm gonna move Mond over. Mond's gonna new enclosure soon too. But I think I'm going to move Mondo over to that one. I think we're just going to break that 20 gallon down and turn it into an enclosure, a different size enclosure. Do something a little bit different with it. I don't know. Or when I break that down, I'll also break down Tango's and basically make sliding glass doors on the 20 gallon. So that way, even when Mondo does get moved up to a larger enclosure, he or some animal can go in there with sliding doors because I hate the opening tops. I can't stand them. But that's that's for a different video. So let's go check out where Sasori is. And then, yeah, you guys watched Soba's video. So yeah, Soba got a new style enclosure. I think she's enjoying it. I like to change up the animals every once in a while just because yeah, I think it gives them good nourishment or enrichment. Overall, pretty much everything else is the same. We're just getting a new addition here. All right, here's the side of that bioactive. <laughs> Sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, here's, so I need to clean the glass in there. I need to get him out of there and clean the glass. But Sasori's right there, if you can see him. Yeah, this is just where his enclosure is gonna be. So basically, I'm gonna walk into the room. I'm gonna see his enclosure, see the bioactive and then get a look over there and see all these beautiful animals. But we got this going on today. Don't mind all that stuff you can see in the background. It's just feeders, leaf litter, a bunch of stuff I keep right next to me on hand during videos so that way I can quickly access it. But uh, yeah. So first things first, I don't really know what I'm doing for this build that I'm doing right now. This is completely out of my league. This is completely different from anything I've ever done. Not really, but it's going to look nice. It's going to be bioactive. 
and it's hopefully functional. <laughs> That's the biggest thing, I want it to be functional. Now ultimately, this is gonna be my first kind of style build of this on this channel. Uh, this is gonna be the first time I've actually built anything like this personally by myself, stuff like that. So it's gonna be changed. It's gonna be changed a lot. Just like I'm saying with Bioactive, that video's not out yet, but just like I'm saying with Bioactive, it's gonna be changed a lot. From when you guys see it to the finished product, things are just gonna be moved around. I'm gonna be like, oh, this will look better over here. Add stuff, take stuff, shit like that, or stuff like that. Sorry, YouTube. Anyways, let's see what we have going today. So first things first, I got this black aquatic substrate. It's just aquarium sand. And it was a 20 pound bag, but in the video where I made Sobu's background, I used a lot of it. And for my snail, I used a lot of it. But this should, the rest of what is in here, should do before I need it to. I think that might do. It's about an inch all around. I might add more later. Who knows? Maybe I'll go get more. If I don't like it, whatever. Now it's time for some... What is this? Spiderwood? Bopani wood? I don't know. Comment down below what it is. I don't remember. I just bought this like an hour ago. But we'll see if I... Do I like it over here? Do I like it over here? I think I'll put it over here because from where I'm sitting, this is the wall and I'm sitting on this side of it. So I think I'll put it over there to add like kind of a depth when I'm looking at it. If that makes sense, great. If it doesn't, whatever. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? So yeah, I think, I think that'll look nice right there. Just gonna go ahead and bury it. Why does it feel like I lost substrate? When I put that in there, I should have gained a little bit actually. Yeah, I think that looks decent for now. That's that. Now I gotta go clean out a cup, get some water in here, and yeah. All right, just got this Tupperware, this pitcher of water. Seems like a good amount. I really should have done a test to make sure this thing held water. I didn't realize that. All right, look. See the water level difference? Should have got a self-leveling mat for this thing. I didn't think about it. Yeah, like I said, should have got a self-leveling mat. I think this table's solid. I've had an enclosure up here for a long time, but it's a lot of water weight. I don't know. This thing's gonna support forever. It should? I don't know, guys. Should I empty it out? Try putting it somewhere else? What should I do? I really have nowhere else to put it. Or I'll just have to keep an eye on this table for the next month while this thing cycles. Before I put the animals in, I'm gonna make sure this table is strong enough. If nothing else, I'll just go buy another table, you know. Simple fixes, simple solutions to simple problems, right? But yeah, I think that's enough water. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Might add more in later, who knows. But let's get to finishing up what I'm doing with this thing today. All right, ladies and gents, I'm back. Just kidding, now I'm back. All right, guys, so I got this. I believe this is the Java Fern. I don't know aquatic plants all that well, but what I do know is that it's going to look really, really nice right there. And I think 
What I'm gonna do is go get a rock to hold it down. I also have this purple Kubota, I think it's pronounced. Don't quote me on that. But I think this guy, I think I'm gonna put that back there. I have this Asian water fern. I think I'm actually just going to just like that. Or is that the one? These might get moved. Cause I can't remember if it's this guy or that guy that do well attached to a tree. This one's got a good root system, so I don't think it's this one. But nonetheless, I could be very, very, you know, I think it might be this one. So I'm actually gonna take you gonna stick you right there and this guy I'll just kind of try to attach the roots to this piece of wood just like that we'll have them going down into the soil as well so if they do decide they want to go into the soil they can you know when we work on the aquariums it's always 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 a good idea to have a freaking towel ready Oh, by the way, all these plants were washed thoroughly before putting them in here. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these smaller white rocks and just kind of try to spread them out just to give it some kind of depth. One more thing I want to put in here. All right, got my filtration media set up and ready to go. Always dry your hands off first. I didn't have a towel, so I used my shirt. <laughs> you know, I for some reason forgot to wash towels. So yeah, the only towel I have is the one I'm gonna use to take a shower right after this. I don't want to get, I guess there's no fish in here, but I don't want to get water on it from this and then go take a shower afterwards. That just doesn't seem pleasant. Okay. Filter's running. Don't worry, I'm going to treat the water, but I need to wait till Emily gets home because I don't know where our water treatment stuff is. Bada boom, bada bing. There we have it, guys. The new tank for not only my snail, but some red cherry shrimp. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks barren over here, kind of cluttered over there. Maybe I'll take the purple thing and I'll move it over here. But I do plan on actually getting moss fur over here. I don't know, I do plan on getting some moss to grow in, but the place I went to, they were just, they were out. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I might unplug that filter until I, we had to go get a net, we lost ours, so Emma's doing that. But, all in all, I think it looks pretty freaking good. So tell me, go down in the comments, tell me what you guys think. Should I change something? Should I leave it? Should I add stuff? Or should I remove a plant? You tell me. Because right now, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing I kind of don't like is that purple one in the back. I think maybe switching the two would look better. Because like two green plants, real green plants over here. Two real dark plants over there. So I think if I switch these two, 
I think that'll look better. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that, see how it looks. Does it look any better? I don't know. Kinda of like it better the other way. I think I should've got two of these, one for each side. I think I just got such different style plants. I definitely need more plants. I mean, we'll see how these grow in. I'm definitely gonna need more plants. So I think I'm gonna move the sword thing back over here. I'm gonna move that back over there. I'm gonna experiment in a couple different places. Maybe not put it in the back, maybe put it in the front. I don't know. Because now it's like, you know, before it was like two light green things and two dark greens on each side. But now it's like two wider things and two skinnier things. I, I, it's just not working. So, but uh yeah i'm gonna i got uh like pagoda thing that's gonna be a nice hiding spot for some of the shrimp see so, yeah, the store i go to they usually have a lot of stuff uh apparently during this pandemic quarantine all that people decided they wanted to build bioactives people decided they wanted to aquascape so just like me, you know? So yeah, they were out of like everything. So I just kind of picked up a bunch of stuff that I thought looked cool. In retrospect, I should have picked up a couple more aquatic plants, but I didn't want to have it like cluttered because I knew that I know this stuff's going to grow in. But all in all, now I'm looking at it. I know I can put some of her on the other side, like the branch I have. And whatever I put over there, it's actually what's going to grow the moss on it. So that'll be super cool. I might have one more idea of what we can do in here to make it look a little bit nicer. Oh, I think that's it. I actually really do like that. So I like how that kind of looks like it's growing off the end of the branch. It kind of looks like it's growing up over that rock. Eventually the roots will get long enough. The Asian water fern, super awesome. I just, I really love that placement of with the rock around and all that. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. The, whatever that is. I don't actually know what that is. Um, I think she mislabeled it. It's just some kind of sword. I think that's really awesome as well. Maybe I might build some more rocks around it. Maybe not. I don't know. And then I really like how that's kind of just growing up out of the branches. I think overall, I think that final, that final adjustment, I think that was it. Now, comment below, tell me if this is it. Comment, see if I should change something. Like I said, there are things being added. I'm getting some moss for it. I'm going to probably put a little branch back in the back corner over here it looks like i'm pointing like over there but i'm pointing this way back in the back corner over here probably get like a little branch or something back there plant some moss on it probably move this thing forward so that way when the moss grows it doesn't overtake that so that's it for this portion i'll do the rest when emily gets home but for the time being don't forget to like comment share all that fun stuff Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload, when I upload. You know, it's at least once a week. I try to at least. And yeah, all in all, have a good day. Be safe. Stay healthy. It's crazy times out there. You just watched the Cold Blood Fiends video. Once again, I'm Sebastian. If you like these kinds of videos, just make sure you subscribe. I'm out, guys. Stay tuned for the bonus footage. Change the plan, guys. So, thanks for st sticking around for the bonus footage. My other tank was actually <laughs> at dangerous levels. I checked it, like, last week, and it was fine. Um, something happened with the nitrates, and it just spiked. I don't know what happened. So, I got my snail in here. He acclimated for a little bit, and I finally got him in here. 
I got these guys acclimating in here because they need to go into something. I have treated this the best I could treat it. The parameters are pretty much there. The nitrates are just a little bit high. Hopefully the shrimp can take it, but I really didn't expect to be buying shrimp today. It was kind of, uh, I was buying the tank. I figured I already had the tank at home. I just checked the water parameters, they were fine. So I bought the shrimp and lo and behold, some happened, nitrate spike. So yeah, the shrimp are now acclimating into this one. I'm glad I checked before, I just went ahead and put them in there though. So yeah, I just checked this one. The levels are good, nitrates are just a little bit high. There's no chlorine. All right guys, here we are like three days later and the tank is doing good, real good. So I got this little log hide thing. Sorry, I got dubias in the way. Got this little log thing, it's kind of like a hide. Put that pagoda in. I need to get in there and replant the Asian water fern because it uprooted itself, but I don't have tongs to do that right now. I don't think it's sticking my hand in the water. Snail's still doing fine. All the shrimp are alive. I don't see any of them. Oh, wait, there they are. So there's one of them, and if I can position my camera correctly, there's another one. There are five in here, but I don't know where they all are. They're usually hiding. Oh look, I haven't seen that little one in the back in like two days, but there he is. So yeah, they're all alive. They're all doing good. I just saw the other ones when I fed them earlier. So yeah, but this guy, I think that's my reddest one super awesome but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update a couple days later i was editing the video and i didn't like the rest of the ending so i figured hey let me give you an update right now so thanks for sticking around guys once again this has been cold blood fiends my name is sebastian and i'm out of here